What's going on, everyone? We're back with another episode of the Let's Play World of Warcraft in 2024. We've got the human palette in here, and uh, I'm noticing already our music's a little low, and we want that natural ambience, the ambient. So we're going to turn that up a little, get some tunes playing through. Excellent. And let's kind of jump in and make this happen. So when we left off, we had ventured to the mines. We had a couple different quest options. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to head out east and explore what's going on in Eastern Elwyn Forest. Now, if I remember, we can talk to Marshal Dugan and take the charger east. So let's do that. And I was commenting in our last playthrough how incredible... Uh, let me get rid of these add-ons here, actually. I was talking about how incredible it was that they introduced this mount into the game here. Um, sorry, I'm being distracted here. There we go. We'll reload, reload UI. Good to rock. So yeah, this is a pretty long run. If you've played Classic WoW, you know that you do this run a couple times. It's pretty long. So to include a little mount that they send you on is really cool. Kind of just makes things feel a little bit nicer as you're pushing through in the early questing. There's something about Elwyn Forest that's just so relaxing. I mean, really take a look at this. If we just kind of soak it all in, it's absolutely beautiful. These huge trees, the canopy of leaves up above us, the towers that you pass, beautifully designed zone, music and all. So I'm curious to see how these quests are different. You can see what we actually have here in the... Uh, We'll take a look at this in a minute. If you're new to The War Within, the most recent expansion, they've included something called Warbands. So all of your characters are kind of grouped together in what's known as a Warband, and they can share reputation, they can share items, they can share a bank. So here, if you take a look, I actually have this shared bank icon. We'll check it out. You can use this once every two hours. And then you can check out what's going on in your bank. So all I have in here right now is a Barley Brew Clear. Um, something from the Brew Fest. Why don't we give that a go and see how it goes. It's going to give us a well-fed buff. But you can share items between your characters, which is really nice. You don't have to mail them. Just pop them in the bank. You're good to go. A nice little addition there that they've uh, implemented in the game. All right, so let's see what we've got going on here with Guard Thomas. What can I do for you? Be careful. Yes, Murlocs have settled in and around the streams of Eastern Elwyn. We don't know why they are here, but they are aggressive, and at least semi-intelligent. For the Alliance. A few days ago, we sent two guards, Rolf and Malachi, to investigate along the river, and they've not yet returned. To complete my report, I must know what happened to those men. Travel north along the river and find the guards, or their remains. Light bless you. An utter tragedy, as we know this is a classic WoW quest. Be careful. Hail, Lightborn. Wild animals are growing more and more aggressive the farther we get from Goldshire, and the Eastvale logging camp suffers nearly constant attacks from wolves and bears. We could use your help out here. So we gotta take down eight prowlers, or gray forest wolves, and five young forest bears. The Alliance. And of course, we still have our heroes you. call Westfall, which we're gonna... We Go might as well spring. accept that now. We'll hit Westfall up a little bit later. The bounty board. We have a bounty on Murlocs. So we need to take down eight torn murloc fins. We've also got Wanted James Clark. Now this is a new request here. By decree of the Stormwind Army, a bounty has been placed on the head of James Clark. Clark is wanted for robbery, burglary, arson, and murder. This guy is a bad guy. He's also a suspect in the kidnapping disappearance of the Brackwell's prize pig princess. James Clark was last seen heading towards Eastvale Logging Camp. Bring him to justice and report to Marshal Patterson at Eastvale Logging Camp. So they've implemented quite a few quests here in this zone, which is nice. Um, you can see we got Murloc fins down there, up there. But we're going to head north and hit the Lost Guards to start. Now you can see in addition to Warband things, I share um, transmog options, which would be fun to play with. We share mounts. We share pets, toys. All of these things are shared. I do have heirlooms, which I'm opting to not use in this situation. Um, maybe we'll consider tossing them on, but very, very nice to see. And we also have another quest here that I'm going to go pick up. I'm opting to not toss on the heirlooms just because I want to feel this experience 
as if you were a new player and see how exactly it, it feels. You need something? And it's not like we need them. We're actually doing great damage. The thugs in Elwyn wear linen, which I could use to make fine linen goods. Bring me linen scraps and I'll use them to fashion something for you. You'll find those lawless criminals in pockets across Elwyn Forest. Farewell. So really a great selection of quests over here. And there's also a Griffin Master, which is fantastic. So we can fly back and forth now between Goldshire and the Eastvale Logging Camp. A nice little addition. Need help? I've got a real problem on my hands. I have a deadline looming for an order of lumber, and I'm running oh, out of what? time. The wolves and bears north of here have chased my workers away from the bundles of wood that they've already chopped. Right. I've already I'll talked to Deputy Rayner about clearing the animals, but I need someone to go collect the wood for me. If you could collect eight bundles of wood for me, I might just make my deadline. Be careful. All right, so the Eastvale Logging Camp, we are ready to rock on a bunch of quests here, so Good let's dive in. You. Oh my gosh. Take a look at this. There are so many flight paths now that we could go to. And we seemingly are just able to go now, which is pretty cool if we really wanted to uh, journey Travel. elsewhere in the game. So let's jump in and let's knock out all these quests that we have. We have a fantastic slew of quests. It looks like James Clark's head is right over here. So we're going to jump in and we'll start with him. The, uh, the looter, the pillager, the bad man that is James Clark. Let's see if we can do some damage to the fella. Hey there, buddy. And big damage ensues. Not even really a problem. We're not even taking damage. And also on top of this, we got the gold pickup schedule. Now, if you guys aren't aware, the gold pickup schedule starts a fantastically interesting quest line that spans across about four different zones here. So let's read this. Pay close attention to this, because this is really interesting. This note is a schedule with a list of days and times when a person, described only as the collector, will receive a shipment of gold from the mines in Elwyn Forest. From the schedule, it looks as if the collector resides near the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch in Eastern Elwyn. This sounds important. You should report it to Marshall Patterson at Eastvale Logging Camp. So this is going to be an interesting story that we want to stay tuned to. Let's go report it now to Marshall Patterson before we jump on the rest of the quest, because there's something going on here. Something is afoot. Marshall Patterson. Light be with you for the Alliance. Turning in a bounty. Light bless you. All right. Justice is served. We turn Go it in his head and we get a little money for it. Very simple quest. Makes a lot of sense. All right. So how about the gold collector? What? We haven't had our people working the Elwyn mines for months. So people of Elwyn Forest are not working the mines for gold. So this is strange that there would be a pickup schedule. Be careful. Hmm. I've heard of this collector, but I don't know whom he's working for. Thank you for the schedule. It will help us solve this mystery. For the Alliance. So now we're on a quest called Manhunt. Because we have this gold schedule, we can delve a little deeper into the story. If the Collector is taking gold from our minds, then he's stealing from the kingdom. Bring the Collector to justice, and bring me the ring mentioned in the pickup schedule you gave me. It may tell us whom the Collector is working for. That pickup schedule says the Collector is hiding out of the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch. Should search for him there. Light bless you. Now, I'm almost inclined to follow this story as opposed to jump into some of these quests because I think this will be more interesting for you all. So basically what we've learned is we found a gold pickup schedule. Someone is going to the mines in Elwyn Forest. So that's the, uh, the Django Load, the Fargo Deep, all these mines, and they're picking up gold. However, the commanders of Elwyn have not been ordering this. So what the heck's going on? We're about to find out. We know, based on this quest, that, um, what's this about a ring? The pickup schedule says the collector is hiding out near the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch. Let's head down there and see who this collector is. We want to find out who he's working for, because people are clearly looting these mines for gold. Now, I know I, I thought we would jump on these quests to start, but I do think this storyline is, is kind of fun to follow and get into. And uh, we're already making great pace as far as leveling goes. That's what's kind of nice about Retail WoW is you can kind of play the game how you want to. If there's a story you want to follow, a quest line you want to follow, you can kind of just jump in and do that. You don't have to feel like you need to complete everything around because you level so fast now. All 
All right, so there's a lot of people here. So this is going to be an interesting fight. Let's see if we can take on two guys here. Uh, you know what? We'll take on three. Why the heck not? Not really a problem thus far. Remember that I can just heal up. Okay, great. We got all that. Now, there are a lot of mobs in here, but there's Morgan the Collector, the guy we need. He's in there with a couple other names. I need to it's too far away. Let's see if we can make this happen. We're going to try to just... Oh, well, here they come. Let's make it happen. This caster's going to be a problem. We do have heals, so it's kind of a little overpowered. Morgan the Collector. This, in Classic WoW, you never would have been able to just tear through these guys like this. This is uh, this is kind of retail specific. So, this is going to be interesting here. We got the Collector's Ring. Now, they want us to return that ring back up here. We could pick up some Murlocs along the way. Uh, maybe we'll just run... No, you know what? No, we're on a mission for this quest, so we're going we're gonna to push to see what happens here. And these prowlers actually are a quest of ours, so we're just gonna get tag a couple of these. I'm out Why of range. Pretty easy to down mods. Now, if we had played with the heirlooms, I feel like we would just absolutely be pumping. We almost maybe we consider giving it a try at this point. We're we're doing so much damage and clearly destroying things that we might as well toss on. Slightly better gear. Let's take a look. Let's see how the uh, how the gear looks. What do I even have for a paladin? I do have a shield. Um, I definitely have plate gear. Plate helm. Why don't I do that? I'm going to use the plate helm. We will use the plate chest. Plate shoulders. I've got crit strike and I've got haste. We're going to go... Which one looks cooler? Oh, we're definitely going with the Valor. We'll throw on the cape. Um, does this mace make sense? No. Does the shield make sense? It would if I were to tank. I might as well use both these trinkets. I mean, we're certainly going to look cool. There's no question there. All right, let's, uh, let's toss this gear on and take a look at, at it as we do. Awesome helm. Awesome chest. Awesome shoulders. I look insane. Um, cloak. Uh, necklace. I believe this necklace has an on use. It does. It's a heal. Okay, so we just got significantly better. Now, I could have sworn I had a... I must not be able to use axes as a paladin, correct? Because I swore that I had the... Um, the axe for this guy. But yeah, you can. That would be more for a warrior. Okay. So we have decided to just go all in with the BOAs. We're going to get um, increased experience, increase your out-of-combat regen, gaining a level triggers burst of knowledge, dealing damage. And if we have one more piece, we get rested experience consumed is reduced by additional 30%. That's crazy. Greetings. Did you find the Collector? Did you discover whom he's working for? Go with honor, friend. You found him? Well done, Lightborn. You won't be collecting from the Elwyn Mines again. And this ring you found is interesting. It's a membership ring for the old Stonemasons Guild in Stormwind. Interesting. I haven't seen one of these in years, since back in the days when the Defias Brotherhood used to infest this land. So, this says a lot. The Stonemasons Guild were the folks who were working on Stormwind. They were rebuilding it after the First War. They had these rings that were membership rings. Now, we found one of these rings on the Collector, which is very interesting. So this is something we want to stay tuned in, in understanding. Careful. Now, we've also gotten a bag. We've gotten some new gloves, which are very good. 
Okay, more to come on that storyline, but very interesting. We need to stay tuned to what the Stonemasons Guild is up to. Greetings. Go with honor, friend. And we've also got a new belt here. We're getting Light some decent lesson. gear. We dinged. Great. We got a new skill, which is Hand of Reckoning. Command the attention of an enemy target, forcing them to attack you. Very good for a tank. But let's get some wood, we'll get some murloc fins, and we'll find the lost guards. And we should be really dealing damage now that we are geared up. We also should be leveling pretty quickly. It's too far away. Yeah, this is going to be uh, an absolute steamroll. Now, these pieces of wood in Classic WoW were not glowing like this. It was a lot harder to find them, I have to admit. It's kind of hard to see where they were. I'm getting a little bout of lag, actually. These are just kind of peaceful, classic Elwyn Forest quests. A couple of kill quests, a couple of collecting but kind of nostalgic in a way of their own. I know that you all had said in the comments that you're liking maybe 20 to 30 minute episodes. I appreciate that. That we can absolutely do. I'd love to continue to figure out the story of the Stonemasons Guild and what's going on. If you know the story, no need to spoil it. It's a very good one. They did such a nice job connecting the zones via quests and characters in, these, in the early game which I find so enjoyable to dive deeper into. Now, we should be able to take a bunch of these Murlocs. This is a place that would have been a fear early on in WoW Classic, but really is not a problem when we're this geared. Kind of just able to come in here. Though they are hitting me decently hard. It's really not too much of a problem. We could probably equip a shield and use shield bash. Something to consider. And here's the uh, Rolf's corpse. Your Warbrand previously completed this quest, which is interesting to see. We'll be able to turn that in shortly. Let's continue to get the uh, the rest of the quests around here. Something very comforting about doing these old quests for me. It takes me back. Very nostalgia-filled. Now we are gonna need a couple more of these uh, of these young murlocs. I was hoping for a little bit of a faster respawn I'm by these fellas. We're just downing them so quickly that it's not seen to be a problem. And getting a couple more fins, but we don't have any more. Well, here we go. We have a light respawn. Okay, here they all are. They're back. Let's see if we can take these fellas. It's too far away. Target. Not really an issue. The damage feels uh, significant, to say the least. And these torn murloc fins are not dropping as frequently as I'd have liked. However, we do have a friend here who has some very good items. Need to get closer. We're gonna help him down his mobs. Uh, we have six of the eight murloc fins. Piece of wood he took from us here. It's too far away. <laughs> I'm hoping that lag isn't showing through too badly on camera, but uh, 
I do think it's giving my computer a little jostle right now. Alright, so this shouldn't be a problem. This should get us the last piece of we need from these fellas. Again, it's it's so funny to think these Murlocs used to be such a concern in WoW Classic, and now it's just kind of a steamroll through. Didn't actually get the torn Murloc. There. Out of range. And there's the last one we need. Great. So let's go back. We'll kind of clear out these quests in Eastvale Logging Camp, and then the story will continue on. Buddy. I can't attack that target. Okay, a couple more pieces of wood here. Then I believe we need to down a couple of the uh, the bears and wolves in the area, which are causing havoc. There should be a bunch it's of them that we can kind of just pile up on. Yep. One more piece of wood, a couple more mob kills, and that'll nicely... There's something so uh, satisfying about setting out with a bunch of quests and coming back with a, with a full quest log to turn in. I always found that very satisfying. We also should be hitting level 10, which is going to open the door to a lot more parts of our adventure. So a lot of things happening here in this episode, actually. So it might be just a slightly longer episode as we as we make sure we get everything done. I really just need to take down the bears at this point. I need to get closer. I have certainly not been focusing on mining, and that's probably just closer. how it's going to be. The leveling is so quick that to stop and think on the uh, professions always feels a little bit daunting these days. There's a bear. We'll need a couple more. I'm seeing a lot of prowlers, but not a ton of bears. bears. Seems like there might be a bunch down below here, so we'll just take a quick trek down south and see what we can find and kind of soak in that environment that is Elwyn Forest. I'm out of Ooh, that poor cow just went down. All right, one final bear, and then we have quite a bit to turn in. I need to get great, and we'll just let that prowler kind of tag along behind us. Let's turn in and see what happens. You can see a night elf hunter over here doing his thing. The joy of an MMO is seeing people out in the wild. Striking up a conversation with a local while you're out questing. We'll be turning in the Bundle of Trouble wood collecting quest here. King's honor, friend. That deadline isn't getting any farther away, Paladin. Please hurry and collect those bundles of Safe wood. Safe travel. Excellent. Thanks to you, I should be able to complete the order in time. To show my gratitude, I'd like to offer some coin as compensation for your troubles. Light and that is level 10, so a lot of things happen. First, we have Sense Undead, which shows the location of undead on your map. Whoa, we also have Divine Shield, which is going to go ahead and grant us... Um, no one else available. Check it out. This is what it does. Big old bubble. Money. Love that. Did we get any other skills? We learned a new skill. Second wind. Reach within for untapped reserves and instantly gain one vigor. 
I don't know why they didn't put that on my bar, though. Let's let's check it out here. I just want to make sure I have everything on my bar. Uh, where is that second wind? Why do I not see it? So we, we opened up access to a lot of things. First of all, journeyman riding. We can ride mounts now at level 10. That's crazy. Dungeon finder. We could be doing... Uh, dungeons, a whole bunch. We can do dragonflight dungeons, follower dungeons. Okay. We can do Whoa, battlegrounds what? now, which is exciting. We can get specs. We can choose what spec we want to be, which maybe we'll save right for the next too. episode. We have a talent tree that we can look into. Ground mounts, flying mounts. And, uh, of course, second wind, which I'm still... Is that a, uh... We might have to pick a spec. All right, we're going to dive into all of that in the next episode. We also have the Dragon Isles Await, which is a quest in Stormwind. We're probably not going to push to the Dragon Isles area, but talk about leveling fast. We do have a decision to make. Are we going to want to go Holy Prot or Retribution? It would be kind of fun to just be a huge tank and power through some dungeons. I don't hate that idea, and that's something I might actually, I might actually go for. A Prot Paladin. Big, strong, pumper. I think we're going to do it. Let's go with Prot. We are going to be a tanky beast. And I probably will grab that shield. I just need a one-hand weapon. So we got a new, uh, couple things here. We get Avenger Shield. We get Ardent Defender. Uh, both fantastic. We have a bunch of specs to look into. And, of course, we have a spell book here. So our mastery, Divine Bulwark. Increase your chance to block melee attacks by 8%. While inside your consecration, your damage taken is reduced by 7.2%. You have a chance equal to block. Also increase your attack power by 8%. So we're getting a lot of things. We also got Lay on Hands. Um, wow, we've gotten quite a bit here. So what I need to do is uh, get my shield activated. Oh, also, don't forget we have mounts. This is crazy how much we've gotten here. Um, we can actually mount up. Can we fly? Oh my god, we can actually fly, too. This is crazy at level 10 that they give you access Need to all this. For the okay. Alliance. Hello, Lightborn. Have you discovered the fates of Rolf and Malachi? Light Fortunately, we have. You've confirmed my fears, Lightborn. The Murlocs are a threat we cannot ignore. Go with honor, friend. For your shrewdness and valor, I have a marker here that is good for one piece of armor. I want you to take it to Sarah Timberlane at the Eastvale Logging Camp. Give her the marker, and she will fashion the armor for you. And after you receive it, Lightborn, use it in the defense of Elwyn. Be careful. Light bless you. Thanks a lot for the help, Lightborn. Something in the forest must be making these animals so bold. Be careful. And then we've also got the Murlocs. You have the fins? Great. Marshal Dugan is anxious about the Murloc situation in Eastern Elwood, and I like to tell him that it's becoming under control. Now we can get a one-hand weapon, so we will take this mace. One to two damage, three to five damage, one hand. We're going to take this, For the alliance. and we'll use it with our shield. Which would be in Warband Collections, Heirlooms. We're going to use our shield. So now look at us. This is going to be kind of cool. Okay. I don't want to use my talent points yet. I need that to move. Get out of here. I don't know why it's insisting I do this now. So take a look at this. We have both shield and weapon ready to rock. We can use shield of righteousness. We have a couple different skills we can use actually want to go in and look at these skills right here. Sorry that I'm all over the place. This is exciting. Um, yeah, Divine Shield we have. We have all these things. Talents, Spec, Avenger Shield, and Ardent Defender. Now, will I get those? Do I have those already? No, we do not. Okay. Okay, this is all good to know. Let's go in and look at the talents. Actually, I'm going to... Sorry, guys. I'm all over the place this morning. The coffee is only just starting to hit. I'm going to save our talent spec for the next episode. I want to close out this chapter by turning in this quest with Sarah Timberlane. And then when we're back, we'll look into the 
Um, the auras here. We'll look into the kind of everything we got at level 10. I also have to remember that I do have uh, a mount now, which is kind of game changing. I might forget that. Light be with you. I've been commissioned by the Stormwind Army to supply their people with cloth and leather armor. If you have a marker for me, then I'd be happy to make you Go something. Go with honor, friend. She's making me bracers. Awesome. Farewell. This is this is so annoying. This uh there we go. They really want you to get those talents in there. Alright, gang. Well that's gonna be the episode. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with a bunch more. Like, follow, and share, subscribe to the channel, and we'll check you back in the next one. Thanks, guys.